What's up, everybody? You found me again. It's your boy, Bob Hollyworld, or Bob Hollywood with Bob's Hollyworld. And today I'm reviewing this Fortnite figure. It is of Carbide. This is made by Jazzware, licensed from Epic Games for ages 8 plus. Let's look at the back, and it says, Carbide, heed the call to action. And I would say out of all the figures I've reviewed so far, he looks the most like a superhero. Some of them look like uh, soldiers. Some of them just look like comic book characters and civilians. He looks like a superhero. In fact, <clears throat> I think he looks like uh, Shaq's Steel character. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but to me, he looks like that. Um, I have all of the, pictures, the figures you see on the back, Mandalorian, Technique, Raptor, and Drift. Um, this is the fourth figure I would be reviewing, and I do believe I have one more after this. But, um, yeah, let's, let's get them open. Let's get them open. I want to say one of the things, of the many things that I like about this Fortnite line is they give you minority figures. Like, this guy is black. Uh, Bandolier is black. Uh, drift the the tone of the tone of his skin looks like he could be Asian under the mask. I could be wrong. Uh, and Raptor looked looked to be Hispanic. It looked, could be wrong. He could just be very tan. But um, yeah. So this guy is black. There's at least two black guys, and there's a female. So they give you minorities in both ethnicities and in both in gender. I mean, technically, women aren't minorities. There are more women in the world than men. But you know what I mean. And so, yeah, he's got this really cool blue armor. It's, like, reflective, like, glossy. And I like it because it's shinier than his chest, which is not a... His chest is duller than the body, but it's lighter than the mask and the boots. Like, he's got a lot of different art styles. Like, his boots and his mask and his gloves, they look to be, you know, less less shiny. They're more dull. But his legs... And it's all the blue is just really shiny. I like it. I stand him there. He comes with these accessories. Let me lower my camera for you, actually. He comes with these two accessories. Wall piece, which all the pieces, all the figures come with. And then an, uh, it looks like a, a rock pick or, a, excuse me, an ice pick, ice climbing thing. All of them appear to have that. That might just be a standard weapon in the game. And, um... Yeah, I mean, this guy is pretty cool. Like, there's like a blemish right there where his foot is. His hand could be painted just a wee bit better. He does not want to focus on this guy for you. His hands could be painted a wee bit better. But other than that, he is pretty well painted and taken care of. There's a blemish right there on his arm, on his left side of his body. The worst one so far to me was Raptor. Mine had a really noticeable blemish, but I'm not going to complain. There's some paint there that could be better. But yeah, he's got some flaws on him, but you know, yours may not. And it's still worth the $13. Let's do his articulation. His arms, his right arm is very stiff for me. You can hear it clicking. That's the best I was able to get. He also kind of reminds me of Iron Man for some reason. So that's the best I can get for his arms. They're also going to rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder. His head is there. goes down that much. goes up that much. He's got an ab crunch. I'm jumping ahead of myself. He's going to have three points of articulation. It is abs. It is rotate. And I may have just broken him. I think I did break him. I broke him. I broke carbide. It's a bummer. Well, I'm going to finish reviewing. I broke him. But let me at least get the rest of his articulation out of the way. His arms, again, not even 90 degrees at the elbows. But they're going to rotate 360 degrees. I'm mad I broke this dude. They rotate 360 degrees at both elbows. His wrists are stiff. At least his left one is. Both wrists are stiff. But they are. They do have a rocker. 
or hinge in these they rotate 360 degrees Well, now that I know he's broken, I mean, we, you can use some, we can custom or whatever. I mean, it is not terrible. That's just some glue. He's just, if I glue it, he obviously won't, he'll lose that rotation. But it could be glued. Uh, his legs are going to go out completely. He is a little nasty hoe. He has some balancing issues when he does it, but other than that, he's, he's good. It's going to be hard to make me... I don't have the thing. To, his legs will rotate at the thigh. It's giving me some trouble gripping it. But there you go. You see it rotating. Double jointed knees. Legs are going to go up. It's really hard to maneuver him without having that extra thing to grip on his uh, the upper body. Let's go up that high. Go back that far, not at all. Or not much at all, rather. Again, since he's got double jointed knees, he can have a complete sit position. He actually does fairly better than Bandolier did. And there is his his ankles in pirouette or pirouette. I don't know how to pronounce it. Not French. And they rotate. So that's it, guys. That's all his articulation. Let's get his height. He is. Two and a half inches. Oh, wait. Let me add his parts. So he's he's just over four inches or just about. Compare him to Bandolier. He's taller than Bandolier. Or is he? Bandolier. I can't help myself. I got to do this. I got to do this. Gotta have fun with life's, you know, misadventures. So, obviously he's broken. And I'm, I'm gonna break him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break him. Or Juggernaut's gonna break him. Ah, this is a scene from Deadpool 2. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Juggernaut is victorious today. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let all your homies know where they can find me, B.O.B., and it's right here at Bob's Holly World. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.